Hello everyone, it is Nabe, and today we're finally going to be doing the Mega Man build. Before we get started, I'm showing off the toolkit that I bought on Amazon, um, and the clippers that my friend Brian got. Uh, congratulations to them on graduating. And now I'm showing off the booklet, and it is a full booklet with, I think, 19 pages. And my god, it is so big. And I counted it with my friend Froobs. Um, there are 21 runners. For those that do not know, runners are the plastic plates that hold all the parts together. I was showing Froobs that like, the size of the Slash in the Mega Man game, look down below. Or is as tall as him, so uh, we were thinking like, oh, this, this guy's gonna be huge. As we get started on building this, I want to say that if you are enjoying this song, it is my song Do Not Listen to This off my album The Crate. And the link to that and all my socials will be in the link in my bio. I will not lie, this video actually took me a long time to create. It's because my Mega Man figure actually broke like a day after and I was like, okay, I'll make that for a video. I also got glue, which I'll do a video later, but <laughs> just life got in the way. With this extra time, I was able to play the Mega Man games and honestly, Battle Network has been so much fun. I highly recommend it if you guys actually haven't played it. Speaking of recommendations, I got this figure off of the Big Bad Toy Store, which Brian also recommended to me. I really enjoy the store so far. Um, this model costs $85, which is a little pricey, but the build is pretty nice, aside from it breaking, but it, I'm assuming it's old. Like you see in the bottom, I have some gameplay of Mega Man. I'm, I just really love how every single fight feels like a puzzle with how the enemy fights and how that interacts with your weapons and how you position yourself. There have been little moments where I feel like I was under repair, so I went back and chose different chips. But after choosing different chips and realizing, oh wait, I should be more strategic with how I play these games, uh, the games became a lot easier and more importantly, a lot more fun. Here are the other Mega Man figures and figures that I really want to work on. This is the one that I first pre-ordered. Um, this is the classic Mega Man model kit which is going to come in December or it's going to ship out in December maybe going to come in January but I'm excited for this one here's the second one I haven't pre-ordered yet but I'm broke this is, so this is the dark uh, Mega Man .exe. I actually don't know much about his backstory it's just know that I want to have a collection and I'm going to also have this dark Mega Man in here so this is the next one which is the Mega Man X model kit this one's cool because it comes with a zero piece and you can collect some of them and build them the next two i'm really sad about because these are two that i really wanted the Mega Man legends and the Mega Man zero um model kits but they're both sold out those are my future builds if you guys are more interested in that like and follow and this is the end of this video so like and comment for part two which is going to be coming out within the next two weeks i hope